Hi, my quilting friend. I've got some brand new patterns from Villa Rosa. They are each $2 and they are digitally downloaded. So you could get a hard copy if you want it and I'm happy to mail it to you or you could digitally download it, which means you find the pattern that you wish, you purchase it and it'll automatically get sent to you. You can then download it and print it off. That way you can start gathering your fabrics and begin sewing immediately. In this YouTube video, I'm going to show you each of the patterns one at a time very quickly. I'm going to mention the name, the size of the pattern and what type of fabrics you are going to need to begin to pull the fabrics out of your stash. If we haven't met before, hi, I'm Emily from Norton House Quilting and the founder of Quilting Your legacy and together we are going to quilt your legacy with making quilt and table toppers intentionally for you to enjoy along with your favorite people. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. So our first pattern is called message. Message is measuring at 61 inches by 81 inches. It is using eight different fat quarters in addition to two and a half yards for the background fabric. Now the background fabric fabric is the blue that you see here and then again you are going to need eight different fat quarters and they kind of look like popsicles but this would be really great using Tula pink fabrics or any fabric that you really want to highlight in medium size fabric print but literally anything would go with that particular pattern. The next pattern is called O Henry. O Henry is measuring at 43 inches by 58 inches. Now, you are basically going to be making a few different size rectangles. So you're going to need five different types of fabric. The first fabric that you're going to need is in the center. So this is going to be your first fabric here. That is going to be a yard. Then you're going to need your smaller rectangles, which is going to be these rectangles here in the corners. That is going to be measuring at five eighths of a yard cut. Then you're going to need your third fabric, which is going to be the medium size, which is going to be here and here. That particular fabric, you're going to need a third of a yard. And then the fourth rectangle is your small rectangles here, here. And with that, you are going to need a quarter of a yard. And then when it comes to your sashing, borders, and the binding, it is calling for one and five eighths of a yard cut. You are definitely going to want to be very careful about your directional fabric because these rectangles that are going this exact way, they are directional. So keep that in mind. But I think I'm going to make this using safari fabrics. In the show description, I've got the safari fabrics to feature just to show with you as a little bit of inspiration. The next pattern <coughs> is oh, George. The next pattern is called <coughs> Underline. Hi, Georgie George. George is in my my sewing studio with me right now. So underline is going to be measuring at 38 inches by 46 inches, which makes it a perfect size baby quilt. You are going to need eight different fat six of a yard cut, 12 inches by 21 inches, or you could use 16 different 10 inch squares. And then for the spacers, which is this fabric here, which is like that black fabric, kind of sort of like on top of the rectangles, that is going to be a half of a yard cut. If you have any fabrics that are just laying around in your stash that you really want to make something with, here is your pattern. It is going to be fun, bright, and vibrant fabric prints. This pattern will be brilliant for that. So I've got two more patterns to show you. You know what? I'm going to go with this one. This one is amazing. So this is called, hi Georgie George, am I here? So this particular pattern is called Farmhouse Blues. And my quilting girlfriend was like, I really want to make a quilt using blue fabrics. And I'm like, okay. So I pulled out the fabric and then she had this other pattern in mind. But then I saw this pattern and yes, we are both going to be making this exact quilt together in the VIP club, the very important patchwork club. So if you love this pattern also, I would love to sew this with you starting in December. But 
for this particular pattern, loving it on your own, you are going to need 14 different medium and dark color fat quarter. Also, you're going to need a yard and a half if you would like to have a border fabric, which in this particular pattern, there is no border being shown, but if you wanted to add a border, a yard and a half. And then for that background fabric, which is the white going around the background or the sashing, you are going to need a yard and three quarters yard cut. So for the size, this quilt is measuring at 60 inches by 75 inches. And then, of course, adding in that border that I had just mentioned, that is going to be 72 inches by 87 inches. You're basically going to be making squares. Oh, here, George. You want to jump up? Okay. Be careful of the mic. Oh, we got George here with us. Be careful of the mic. <laughs> so with this, you're basically going to be doing the nine patch. So there's going to be four different squares sewn together i think it's george's nap time so let's just get through our last pattern and then we shall go relax okay george okay <laughs> okay so our last but certainly not least pattern is called pecking duck now with pecking duck this is awesome because you are going to be using a large focal fabric, which I love how they chose using Tula Pink. Then you're going to be also sewing flying geese. Now with these particular flying geese, they are made out of half square triangles. Basically, any fabric that you have you, that has, you know, birds or literally anything I mean, the flying geese could even represent woodland creatures. So if you have a nice focal point of like a woodland creature, a bear, a deer, and then you have the flying geese on top, absolutely adorable. So this particular pattern is going to be measuring at 48 inches by 62 inches. The main fabric, which in this particular pattern is the Tula Pink Owl fabric, that will be measuring at a half of a yard. Then your background fabric, which is the white being shown here, that is going to be a yard of a fabric. Then when it comes to your flying geese, you are going to need five different fat eighths of a yard cut, or you could choose three different quarter yard fabrics, or the pattern is also suggesting that you could use 15 different seven inch squares. And again, this pattern is going to be absolutely amazing when it comes to any type of woodland creature, or I love how they chose the Tula pink. So with only having one hand, here is our five brand new patterns from Villa Rosa. And again, they are each $2 and ready for you to be downloaded right now. Check out the show description. That way you can see each of these patterns up close and personal. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on another quilting video. And again, I am Emily, your quilting friend, and I really look forward to sewing with you very soon. Bye for now.